This is uh, video 11 to go with the pH and weed control uh, notes. Well, what is uh, pH? Well, pH is a measurement of how acidic or alkaline something is. We give pH a range. Um, pH of 7 means that something is neutral. In other words, it's not acidic or alkaline. So, um, uh, water which has been distilled usually has a pH of uh, 7. When you go to below um, 7, that means it's acidic. Things which are close to 7, slightly acidic, like vinegar, or then things which are much further away from the 7 are very strong acids and very burning, like um, uh, hydrochloric acid. And it's just the same with alkalines. Anything above 7 is alkaline, really high above it, strong alkaline, and just above it uh, is a weak alkaline. What determines pH? Well, pH is determined by uh, little particles called ions. Ions are any particle which is charged, <coughs> but in this case it's hydrogen ions, little positively charged hydrogen molecules, or hydroxide ions. In particular, the hydrogen ions are important. And the more hydrogen ions there are, the more acidic something is. When you look at soil, soil particles can absorb these ions. And so the more hydrogen ions you have inside the soil particles, then the more acidic your soil is going to be. There are also other positively charged particles in the soil, two very important ones, the calcium and magnesium. And those ions will fight with the hydrogen ions to be absorbed into the soil. So if you've got more calcium and magnesium, you're going to have less hydrogen ions and it gets less, the soil gets less acidic. And it's this, uh, the reverse as well. If you've got less calcium and magnesium ions, then less, the more hydrogen ions will be absorbed by the soil and it'll become more acidic. So this is what determines acidity or alkalinity of the uh, soil. So what actually affects it then? There's a lot of different factors which affect soil pH. Take for instance the parent rock. I mean, this, mean this, this, this means that the rock that the soil is originally created from. Because as we've done in past videos, friction on the, the rock underneath will wear away particles and all those will become part of the soil. So for instance, if you have limestone, which is very alkaline, those particles are going to rub off, become part of the soil, and the soil is going to be very alkaline. Rain and leaching can have effect. When it's raining, say... Uh, the water will run through the soil, washing away ions or particles or certain chemicals. Um, particularly if you're on a uh, more sandy soil where the water will drain faster, or if you're on a slope where it can drain faster. And that movement of the water through, pushing the particles, it's called leaching. Now obviously if the calcium and magnesium get washed away, there'll be more hydrogen ions in the soil and therefore absorbed into the soil and therefore it'll become more acidic. So, so rain and leaching can also have an effect. The type of plant determines pH. There's some plants that are more acidic, more alkaline. Uh, take for instance a conifer where the pine needles are acidic. So every time it deposits pine needles onto the ground and they rot, they're going to add acidity to the soil. And that's why there's not a lot of plants that can grow underneath conifers, so that's one of the reasons why. <clears throat> when we remove crops as well, that will also affect the acidity and the alkalinity. Those plants that we grow will have absorbed calcium and magnesium to use them. Magnesium is important for plants because they use it to make chlorophyll. That's the part of the plant, the chemical in the plant they use for photosynthesis. Um, and so when you take that crop away, you're essentially taking calcium and magnesium away that has been absorbed from the soil by the plants. Less calcium and magnesium for the soil to absorb, more hydrogen ions will go into it and the soil becomes more acidic. So that's why one of the things we add to the plants, the to the ground, is fertilizers. It's not just to provide nitrogen to help the plants grow, but it'll help to replace the magnesium and the calcium that's been lost. Of course, there's other chemicals that we add to the soil as well. Um, 
sometimes we add lime to the soil if it's particularly acidic to help neutralize that acid. Some insecticides and herbicides that we add can be alkaline or they can be uh, acidic and so by putting those on the soil we change the pH. And then one of the biggest damaging effects of all that humans have is pollution. There's different types of pollutions that deposit chemicals and substances and these will change the pH. So you take for instance acid rain which comes from the sulfur fumes that are given off um, maybe in car exhaust fumes, they're taken into the atmosphere and then the, the, the sulfur, the sulfuric acid is deposited in the rain on the soil and soil becomes more acidic. 